So you're thinking about coming to Scotland, or maybe you've already decided to come here for your vacation. My name's David Ladd. I'm a Scottish Tourist Guides Association Blue Badge Driver Guide. Let me help you plan and then take you for an unforgettable journey through Scotland. We've just come off the high street. Now, many of you will know this as the Royal Mile. So St. Giles Cathedral, there has been a church here uh, since the uh, 11th century. And the church that you're looking at now, 15th century, tower, 1400s. And as you can see, the outside of this church, nice and regular, geometric, but what you have got is the old bell tower. And that bell tower shows you what the masonry used to look like because they haven't restored that. And also quite interestingly on top, it tells you something about what the royal family, the Stuart dynasty thought of themselves because what you've got on top there is what we call an imperial crown. And that is, tell that is the Stuart dynasty telling the world from their capital that we are A-listers in royal families of Europe. Now, if you go round the um, statue there, you're going to see in cobblestones set out in front of you a heart. It's called the Heart of Midlothian. Now, the Heart of Midlothian, the rather disgusting habit of local people is as they walk past the heart, they will spit on it. Now, you'll hear the story that that is for luck. Well, it's not really, think about it. It's the toll booth. You paid your taxes, you got put in jail. It's where the politicians lived. When you're spitting on the doorstep, which is where the heart of Midlothian is, it is precisely where you would go through the front door. Set high in its rock top overlooking the most strategic site in all of Scotland, the fortress palace of Stirling, once named Snodden, the fortified house on the river inevitably played an important, indeed vital part in the nation's story. Here was the first possible crossing by a bridge before modern engineering over the fourth. Stirling inevitably became the major cockpit of the land where battles innumerable were fought from Malcolm Canmore's against King Canute from England, Sockyburn, Bannockburn, Stirling Bridge and all the rest. Stirling links highlands and lowlands and above all towers the great castle. If anywhere can be called the heart of Scotland, Stirling Castle it should be. Scotland has so much to offer and I've only been able to show you a very small part of that. Let me take you for an unforgettable journey through our country.